In this chapter we're going to talk about localization. Localization is the set of techniques you are using when you want to make your application available in more than one language. In other words, when you want to translate your application in other languages. It is going to be very easy and this chapter will be pretty short. You already know that even if you're not going to translate your application in other languages, as soon as you have a string in your code, you have to place it in a resource values directory file, strings.xml for example. It will be much easier for you to make corrections in this file instead of looking for your strings that will be scattered through your entire code. It is also going to help us a lot with localization. Now I'm going to create a new project, a skeleton project actually, and I'm going to show you how to localize this project in another language. So file new Android project. Let's name it localize 2.1 localize com dot box island. Yes, localize. And in my localize project, you see that I already have, of course, a, a resource directory and then a value directory and then a string. Here it is a string XML uh, values file. So, which basically contains the application name and uh, a text value uh, that is displayed when the, uh, the application starts. What I'm going to do here is creating a new values directory for another language. File new Android XML file because strings.xml is obviously an XML file. Here it is, the project is localized so we, I want a layout values menu. No, I want a values file, and I'm going to name it strings.xml. I want this file to be under resource values dash fr fr like French. So I have a chosen qualifier here, and it's telling me that this strings XML file will be a French values file. So I'm doing that right now and it has created a values-fr directory with a strings.xml file. This file is empty so I'm going to copy and paste the content of the other file and I'm going to change this hello world for the French version of it. Salut le monde. Okay. I'm saving and now I'm running the application. And I should not try to run an uh, XML file, of course. So now I'm uh, running the application from here. And my, my application says, hello world, localize the name of this application. Perfect, that's what I was expecting, but if my phone is set up in French, which I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go in settings. I have, uh, I need to find it, language, uh, select local. And I'm going to use uh, French from France. Okay, I'm done. And I will rerun my application, localize here, and see. 
it's now speaking uh, French. Salut le monde, localize. So you see how easy it is. Well, there's not much more to say about it, uh, but maybe that you can do the absolutely the same thing with other resource uh, directories like drawable and uh, also the layout. So if you have some icons with some uh, English text, um, well, in this case, you may want to create another drawable-fr uh, directory and uh, where in, in which you will store the French version of your icons. It is that easy when developing with Android.